Uh, my name is Rafael Lopez. I actually roll the R instead of Rafael, it's Rafael Lopez. I'm an illustrator that hails all the way from Mexico City. And I'm just so thrilled to speak to you guys about uh, the process of creating, the creating books, you know, where I come from and what prompted me to do this and why I continue to do it. I went to um, a very creative school, elementary school in Mexico City, where they really um, stressed that you needed to do creative stuff at the very end of the, of the day. They really get, you know, just gave you a lot of uh, support, whatever you wanted to do. So I took different things like pottery and painting and photography. And uh, even I did even like little puppets and stuff. And then I had an opportunity to go to England with a friend of my parents. He was a painter that lived in England for a while. And while I was there, he encouraged me to um, keep track of my whole experience while I was there and create my first children's book, basically. He says, you're not gonna go back empty handed. And I want you to um, reflect on what you've done and create images of your experience. So it was 1974, I was 11 years old and I created my first official uh, children's book. For this book, we've got the whole world on our hands. This was really fun because the song was perfect for um, creating a book that was very current to our current issues. I, I remember I was in Mexico and my mom likes to do sewing and um, you know kneading and stuff. And she had this ball of yarn. And I thought, wait a minute, you know, wouldn't that be great? That is the ball of yarn is the string that put, you know, that, that holds us all together. And we're passing that on from person to person to person, basically meaning, you know, passing the responsibility and, and, and the goal of making our world together and the message that uh, we should all get along. So that's why you see this train coming, you know, passing through the book. I'm going to show you my wall. No, oh, here's the other one. There's a wall right here. This wall is where I, uh, put all my uh, my drawings and I um, I see if there's any like gaps in between if there's things that don't make any sense so I go back and forth and I paste things around so this is my wall where um, everything takes place and I find the continuity and there's have to be some congruency with the whole story once that's approved um, I start having fun in the meantime while I'm waiting for the approvals I create textures I do a lot of stuff behind me with uh, rollers and brushes and rags and I use uh, acrylics and I use uh, inks and watercolors. So it's a, it's a really fun process. I spent about a month creating texts that I think I'm going to utilize on the book. Not only do I do children's books, but I, I also do community murals, which is part of my other great satisfaction, which is inviting people to come and paint with me, mostly kids. I mean, there's times where you have like in one extreme on one end of the, of the mural, three or four year olds working and then on the other end, there's like an 80 year old person, you know, working. It's, it's incredible. It's the whole community likes to come and participate and be together. And what I like about that, it's that the, the, the mural is just an excuse to bring the community together. So I want my books to be this kind of a little secret chest thing that every time you reopen it and you flip that page, you see something that you missed the first time or the second or third time. And then you find it, finally find it and you go, wow, that's pretty cool. And, and I think that uh, uh, young readers are very sophisticated and uh, they are, I'm sure that they love to find new things in the story, you know, to go back and go, whoa, I missed this part, you know, and then they can interpret it in a different way. So thank you again, everyone for this opportunity and have a wonderful day and a wonderful beginning of the school year. Take care.